Greenbelt 2.0 has been a coming together of people with lots of different skill sets to test and challenge the existing concept of the green belt. Particularly today, we've been out in the green belt in this lovely barn surrounded by hay bales and a fire. We've had a great discussion. We've got hands on and made maps out of stones. This is about throwing it all up in the air and saying, how might we reimagine what the green belt is for, what it does in a way that meets these multiple needs that we have in this time of climate and ecological emergency, housing emergency crises. You know, the green belt is quite a complex um, topic and quite contentious, and I think there's a lot of blurry lines there. We do need housing, but we also need to protect nature because without nature, we won't exist. We need to ensure that the voice of minority ethnic people are heard in these kind of meetings or consultations because what happens is usually the loudest voice is heard and usually BME people are not involved in these kind of consultations. It's not seen as a priority for them but often they're busy with their day-to-day -day lives or they're still doing, I would say, basic equalities work. This is much more strategic and a lot of people feel that it's not for them. And I think what I really took away from this was there was lots of different ideas, lots of different ways of imagining the future green belt and actually having a shared map on the ground to play with and arguably negotiate with was really, really powerful. The grounding technologies funding has just been exactly the right thing at the right time. It's been really interesting, the opportunity that it's brought about to work with people who are working in creative technology. And I think being here today has really grounded this whole process. But what's come out of today is that there's a real excitement and even sort of hunger for an interest in doing more of this and a real understanding that actually that Venn diagram of community conversations and creative technology that creates a real like sweet spot. And the group that was here today were totally up for that. From the beginning, we've been thinking about it as something that will challenge people to think about it differently. From people who are planners and have heard of the concept of the Green Belt and they've decided what it is, like challenge their preconceptions, maybe reassess what they want it to be. But then also people who've never even heard of the word Green Belt, have no concept or context of what it should be. It's their Green Belt too, right? So. Uh, Greenbelt 2.0 is about deciding what we want it to be in the future, and by we I mean everyone. If we put communities in the driving seat of change, then what becomes possible becomes much more exciting and much more human scale.